Uh, it, it's been proven time and time again. Research and studies show that, that children that have exposure to the arts, that, that they listen to classical music, whether they like it or not, they know what it is and they've heard it. They, they understand art. They get to have their hands in art, in clay, in paint, to dance whether it's to learn tap dancing or what tap dancing is or the difference between jazz and ballet. It all helps that right side of our brain develop and grow and it makes them a, a, a much fuller student. Our kids can listen to a rap star and enjoy it and they can listen to an opera and tell you something about those characters and so it just makes it for a full rounded character. I like to think of our productions as a high school level production. Our kids feed into Booker School for the Art, you know, Performing Arts Company and into other performing art companies. It's high school performance with, with miniatures, <laughs> with little guys. Um, it's really rewarding to see our kids in the high schools performing a couple years later and getting scholarships to go to school, to study college, uh, to study theater. And, and it all started here. I mean, that just makes me cry. Um, we had a couple graduate last year. One of the young men got the Gates Scholarship, and I don't know if you're familiar with that, but it's education for a lifetime, for a lifetime. He can get as many college degrees as he wants, and he didn't have an easy life. He was one, like Gosha with kids. But this is not an easy place to be. Um, he went on. We have a little boy that's a senior this year who played our Mowgli, in Jungle Book, was a, which was the second musical we did, he couldn't speak English in second grade. By fourth grade, he had the lead in our play, and now he's graduating from Booker uh, VPA in theater and stuff. So how can you even not feel great about that? My big goal is, too, is I also try to expose the kids not just to the performance side, but to the technical side of theater. There's, there's wonderful jobs out there for kids that like to play with wires and light things, there's things, jobs for kids that like to blow things up and special effects. Um, costume design, set design, there's just a whole other world and any way we can grab our kids so that they want to go on into school and become successful in this world is wonderful and so I try to give them something that's creative and has a different kind of product at the end. My fifth graders, I keep telling them, I said, this year I get you ready for middle school. And we talk about body language and we talk about how to carry themselves and how people make first impressions. And that's where it is. It's, the teachers know when the kids have come from Goshio. They're going to have to do oral reports and presentations and speeches from now until forever. I tell the kids, you know, I don't care if you're a bank president or the manager of McDonald's, you're going to have to know how to talk to people and be able to get their attention to make it worthwhile.